Hey everyone, today we will learn about redirecting your domain name to one of the AWS or Amazon Web Services hosted content. For this we will need a domain name using Amazon Web Services Route 53 module. We will register the new name servers and then configure it in such a way that it will be able to accept the requests from the domain name and then route it to the appropriate module that we have created. Finally, we will also create a sample page using FileZilla, upload it to the Amazon Web Service and we will see the whole thing in action. Let's get started. I'll go to aws.amazon.com and then sign into my console. Sign in. And then go to root 53 that is where I have all the domain related settings and here I have uh, different options uh, DNS management traffic management availability monitoring and domain name registration so for now we will focus on DNS management that is where we root the domain names click on get started and now I need to create a hosted zone first and then I need to create hosted zone uh, for that first I have to create a domain name I give it a domain name digitaldm.com and then comment saying digital data management and I create it as public hosted zone click on create now my name server values are created now I can take these and go back to my domain name hosting service and update the records over there. So I copy one of these value. Go back to my Google domains where I've registered my domain. Change the setting to use custom name servers and paste the value. I add rest of them. Once I set these up, instead of Google handling my domain name related requests it always routes it back to AWS related name servers that we are mentioning here save and that's it so with these updates my digital dm.com's name servers are updated so that anyone who tries to access this domain will be automatically redirected to my AWS site. Now rest of the updates are on AWS side so let's switch back to AWS. So this was my digital DM. I need to create a couple of more things here so that it gracefully handles all the IP address requests. Now all requests related to our domain and IP address will be coming into AWS server but within AWS server it needs to know where is it supposed to redirect to that is which instance of ours need to be displayed to the end user so for that we have to first make sure we have an IP address or an instance running where we can redirect this digital dm.com so let's go back and verify the mean stack instance that we created in one of our earlier videos let's switch to my console home and ec2 one running instance and then this bitnami let me click on that yes i see the url full url either i can use this or i can use the ip address i'll pick this ip address and go back to my root 53 visible here yeah here and go to host i go into my digital dm i create a new record set with and it is going to be www. I'll remove the dot. Dot is already there. DigitalDM.com. I put this IP address, and I go ahead and create this. I'll also create another record set without any prefix. That is without www, and I'll name it as alias. Alias equal to yes. I I'll also I also want to create a subdomain called blog. I'll choose CNAME or canonical name which is for creating subdomains within AWS and then I want it to be redirected to www.digitaldm.com slash blog 
is the subfolder that I'll have to create. Right. Go ahead and create this. So now I have uh, done a couple of things. And remember, these updates take a while to propagate. So meanwhile, let's upload some uh, data into our domain. In other words, let's create a sample page. And also, we will create a sample page for our blog so that we can verify both of these domain as well as the subdomain. Just like how I demonstrated in one of my earlier uh, video, let's go back to FileZilla and connect it to our AWS instance. Before we connect, we need to make sure that we are having the SFTP key setup, which I think is setup. Yep, that looks great. Let's go and create a connection to FTP server. Let me first rename this connection AWS stand. Then for IP address uh, of the host, I'll go back to my AWS site and get it. And I will change the protocol to SFTP and port number 22, username is Ubuntu, and then connect. Yep, it got connected. So now I need to upload my files. This is the root of my website. So I need to create my files here. I need to create a folder for my blog so that my subdomain can get redirected there. So I go here and say, right click, uh, create blog folder that's created. Now we need to upload some contents to this blog as well as the. All right, so I have created a sample file here. So let's see. Uh, for my home page, I have created an index.html which just says, set, we are setting up our website. It should be up and running soon. And then I have another one for blog which says, we are preparing contents for our blog. Look out for it. Let's upload these files to the server. They're stored in C colon slash digital. I upload these three files onto the root. It asks me if I want to overwrite. Yeah, sure, go ahead. And I go to blog and blog on both sides and I upload these three files. And finally, let's verify if it was all successful in uploading the file. Digitalbm.com. So it connected and we see the updates. With this, we conclude this video. And to summarize, in Google domains, we updated the name server details using hosted zones related information that we created within Route 53. And we also created a couple of other details so that AWS knows where to route our request from the domain. And we also tested that by uploading some of our sample files. Hope you learned something out of this session. Please subscribe to the channel to be notified about the new videos that are getting added to this channel.